Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to draw development of lateral surfaces for a pyramid. So let us take an example. A square pyramid side of base 30 mm and axis 60 mm long is kept on horizontal plane in such a way that one of its base edges is parallel to vertical plane. A cutting plane bisects its axis at 45 degree. Draw the development of lateral surfaces of the square pyramid. So here square pyramid is given. So square pyramid is like this. It is having triangular vertical faces meet at a point called apex. And here it is square pyramid means base of this pyramid it is square in shape. You can observe the square pyramid. It is having triangular vertical faces and square base. So for the square pyramid, this is the base which is square. So these are the base edges. Then these are the slant edges. And this line meet at this point which is called as apex. So in example, dimensions of the square pyramid are given. Base 30 mm means the side of base it is 30 by 30. And axis length is given means height of this pyramid is given. So we can draw it as a front view and top view. Further it is given that it is kept on horizontal plane in a such a way that one of its base edges is parallel to vertical plane. So let us consider vertical plane and horizontal plane and this square pyramid is kept on horizontal plane on its base. So that square base we can keep like this so that these two lines will be parallel to vertical plane whereas other two lines are perpendicular to vertical plane as this base is square in shape if any line is parallel to vertical plane then another line will be perpendicular to vertical plane so we can keep the square pyramid on horizontal plane like this so that this condition will be satisfied so to draw the front view and top view, let us consider observer is looking at the object from this direction. So intersection of vertical plane and horizontal plane, this line will be the xy line. And above xy line we can draw the front view and below xy line we can draw the top view according to first angle method of projection. As square pyramid is given, that square shape is visible in top view. So first we have to draw the top view. So when observer looking at this object from the top direction, observer will observe the square base. So that square we can draw in the top view. So side length is given. Side length of the base it is 30 mm. So we can draw a line of 30 mm. Then another perpendicular line of 30 mm. And we can complete the square base. So when we are drawing the top view, this xy line will act as the vertical plane and we can see here this line and this line it is parallel to xy means those are parallel to a vertical plane and remaining two lines are perpendicular to xy means perpendicular to vertical plane so we can give the names to this square a b c d then we can draw the front view so observer will be looking at the object from this direction and he will observe this triangular face. So let us take the projection of each point in the front view and complete the front view. Here axis length is given means height of the prism is given. So we can draw the axis from center of the square base and at 60 mm we can mark the point which is apex. And we can draw the slant edges from this apex like this. Also we can draw the base like this. This slant edges we can also draw in the top view like this. So this point is apex called O. So we can write this O in the top view and this O dash in the front view. So slant edges are OA, OB, OC and OD. So in front view, this OA and OD are coinciding on this side and slant edges OC and OB 
will be coinciding on this side in the front view. So before drawing the development of lateral surfaces, first we have to draw front view and top view for given prism or pyramid. If it is prism, then vertical faces will be rectangle, and if it is pyramid, vertical faces will be the triangular in shape. So we can give the name to this base in the front view. So here this A and D will be coinciding. So here we will get A dash D dash and here B and C will be coinciding. So here we will get B dash C dash in the front view. So now we will draw the development of lateral surfaces for this square pyramid. So here important point to note is if a line is parallel to X, Y in the top view, then its length in the front view is always actual length. So here we can see no any slant edge is parallel to xy. So length of the slant edge in the front view it is not actual length or true length. So to draw the development we need true length of the slant edges. To get the true length of the slant edge in the front view we have to make any of the slant edges in the top view parallel to xy. So let us take OB slant edge. So by using compass we can rotate this OB slant edge and we can make it horizontal like this. So we can give the name OB1. Now OB1 it is parallel to XY line. Now we can draw its projection in the front view. So take the projection and this point we can connect with the apex. And if you connect with this apex, O dash B1 dash will be the actual length of the slant edge. And this length we have to use while drawing the development of lateral surfaces. Now we will draw a line parallel to O dash B1 dash. So for that purpose we can take the projection of O dash like this. And by using roll and draw we can draw line parallel to O dash B1 dash like this. Now as this is the pyramid, we have to use the radial method to draw the development. So by using compass, we can draw an arc like this. Then we can mark the four sides of base of this pyramid on this arc by using compass. So in compass, take distance is equal to 30 mm and we can mark the points like this. So there are four edges to the base so we can mark the four points like this now we can connect these points by straight line because in top view this square pyramid having four straight line so we can connect with the straight line like this then we can draw the slant edges so this point is o so we can connect this all corner like this then we can give the names so this is o and here we are unfolding this square pyramid from point a so this point is point a so we can give the name a then b c d and again last point will be again a so this is the development of lateral surfaces of the square pyramid. But here it is given that a cutting plane bisects its axis at 45 degree. And after cutting this square pyramid we have to draw the development. So first we have to draw the development without cutting and then we have to consider this cutting plane and we have to update the development of lateral surfaces. So cutting plane bisects its axis at 45 degree. Bisects means at mid of this axis that is at 30 mm we have to mark the point and from that point we have to draw a cutting plane at 45 degree inclination like this. So upper part we have to remove and lower part we have to keep and for lower part only we have to draw the development of lateral surfaces. So we can make the lower part dark like this. Now we have to update the cutting point in this development. So we have to take the projection of this intersection points up to actual length of the slant edge. So here 
O dash C dash it is not actual length actual length is O A so we can take the projection of this intersection point up to this line O A similarly here also up to O A and by using radial method we have to draw the development so again we have to use the compass and by using compass we can draw arc like this now here this is the cutting point and here this cutting plane intersecting two slant edges that is O dash A dash and O dash D dash that is O A and O D. So here on this curve we can mark the point on O A and O D. So here it is O A so this is one point here also this is O A so here also we can mark the point and for O D and here it is OD so here also we can mark one point now here cutting plane will cut the two slant edges that is OC and OB so from this point we can draw arc up to OB and OC line so again by using compass we can draw arc like this and here we need to extend this arc up to C line only because this is the intersection point on OC and OB. So here it is OB and OC line. It is not required to extend up to OD and OE. So we can mark the point here and here like this. Now we have located all the points and we can connect these points by straight line. Now in case of cone and cylinder, we have to connect these points by curvature, smooth curve. But for prism and pyramid, we have to connect these points with the straight line. So we can connect these points by straight line like this. We can also make dark this base edges like this. We can also make this slant edges dark like this. So this is the development of lateral surfaces of the square pyramid when it is cut by cutting plane. Further, we can update the top view so we have to draw the top view without this upper part so here cutting plane is not passing through the square base so square base will remain as it is dark but slant edges are cut so we can take the projection of this intersection point in the top view like this and this part is removed so upper part means this part is removed and after cutting there will be lines like this also this portion of slant edges it, it is visible so this portion of slant edges it is visible so we can make this slant edges dark like this and this portion actually cut by the cutting plane so we can draw the hatching lines here if you want so in this way we can draw the development of lateral surfaces of square pyramid when it is cut by cutting plane at certain inclination. Thank you.